now let's try to convert this English statement into uh, you know using the parameters so how can we convert this English statement using variables is propositional variables is you have to understand what are the connectives used here okay so one connective is you cannot write the roller coaster if you are under four feet tall unless unless you are older than 16 years so if you see this there are actually three statements here so for each statement you can give one variable so that it will be uh, convenient to represent them so for this statement you cannot write the roller coaster I want to give one variable okay and for this statement you are under four feet tall for this I want to give one variable and then this one you are older than 16 years I want to give one statement and then one variable and then after forming the variables we can use the connectives and then connect them all so let's see what we uh, this one so most of the cases in the exam you might find that neg negation is not being used in the variable representation later they will put the negation which means even though the statement is saying you cannot write the roller coaster the actual variable will represent the uh, statement like this let us say p is the variable and it is saying here it is saying you cannot write the roller coaster let us say p is representing you can you can write the roller coaster right then what does this particular uh, statement represent it is representing negation p okay and the next one is you are under four feet tall let's represent it using q q is representing you are under four feet tall and R is representing let us say this statement you are older than 16 so first step is you have to identify what are the statements and what are the connectives and then you have to understand what is the meaning of each connective so this one we'll see it later now let's see this unless so how to interpret unless is you are under four year four feet tall unless you are older than 16 years so it is a difficult statement to understand if you are good with english you will understand it otherwise initially it will be difficult but what we'll do is we'll try to analyze all the examples which are possible all the difficult examples so that even in the exam you'll get the same kind of statements even without understanding the english you'll be able to answer it got it so what i what is that i'm trying to say is you are under four feet tall unless you are older than 16 years has the same meaning as you are under four years tall four feet tall and you are not older than 16 years which means i can remove this unless and i can put an and here and since unless is removed here i have to add a negation which means not got it therefore these two statements will combinedly form a compound variable like this if this one is representing q and earlier one was representing r without not right now these two together this one this statement with unless and this statement will combinedly form q and negation r right so this entire thing is going to form q and negation r and now we have negation p here right and these are the compound statements we are able to get okay now how to connect them there is if given right now if you watch the ways in which we have represented a implication if you have hypothesis implies conclusion like this p implies r one way of writing it is or if p so what does it mean after the if part whatever you have that is hypothesis and before the if part whatever you have that is the conclusion right and with practice you will be able to understand it otherwise you try to remember it as of now so what can we say now whatever is after if 
that is going to form the hypothesis right so what is after if after if is this part therefore q and negation r is going to form the hypothesis and whatever is before if right so what is before if in this case in this case before if is neg negation p so that is going to form the conclusion therefore negation p so this is the entire representation or the answer okay so this is how you can represent this one now these variable names they vary depending on what they have assumed here so in question they will give you this entire statement and also they will say that p represents this q represents this r represents this then which of the following is options they can you can find out this okay fine Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building. And then LOR guidance. And GRE and English test assistance. And education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral. Which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days. And whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities, or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan, and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you getting a, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews, and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 555 454. Okay, thank you.